that fish. Yes! Good job. It is girls weekend. That is awesome. Definitely a treat. Unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Ice Force by Rapala and Strike Master Ice Augers. The new Ultralight Rip and Wrap offers a smaller profile and slower, more seductive action on the fall than any other rattle bait on the market today. The number four Ultralight Rip and Wrap is irresistible to big perch and slab crappie, yet it fishes big enough to tempt trophy caliber predators during a cold front or anytime walleye, pike, or lake trout key in on smaller profile baits. This winter, when you hit the ice looking for your next lunker, think big, go small with Rapala's new Ultralight Rip and Wrap. Got one. Jake, there he bit. Great fish. And the dangler rod holder. Introducing the dangler rod holder. Revolutionizing tip down performance. Available at your local retailer or online at danglericefishing.com. Strike Master introduces the new Lithium 40 Volt. Everything you've ever wanted in an ice auger. With a 40% increase in cutting speed over the competition and up to 100 holes per charge, the Lithium 40 Volt has the power and stamina you need and the two amp rapid charger that can bring a fully discharged 40 volt battery pack to a full charge in as little as two and a half hours. The new Lithium 40 Volt, only from Strike Master. Duncan Creek Wood Creations is putting quality, handcrafted products from the north woods of Wisconsin right at your fingertips. Offering a full line of custom wood furniture, bedroom sets, dining room tables, and cabinets. Available today, simply go to our website to select any of our in-stock, handcrafted, custom-made bars, bar stools, cribbage boards, and end tables. Shipped directly to your door in just days. Duncan Creek Wood Creations. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. Last week we started the first in a two-part series of fishing multiple destinations for probably one of the toughest fish to catch through the ice, trout. We were on Manitoba's Reed Lake with pro staffer Brian Bogdan. I gotta tell you, they've got some awesome lake trout on that lake. Well, on this week's show, we head a little further east and we're going to meet up with pro staffers Mike Gate and Captain Lee Hosh. Now they're out on Ontario's Crow Lake and they're gonna see what they can put on the ice for lake trout. So let's meet up with the guys who are ready on the ice right now. Hey everybody, it's Mike from uh, Nestor Falls here. We're fishing today up on the east end of Lake of the Woods on the Canadian side. We've uh, kind of did a little bit of a drive about 10 minutes from camp up to Crow Lake. We're trying to catch lake trout. Lucky enough, we've got our buddy here from uh, Algoma, Wisconsin, Lee Hash. Lee runs a uh, charter business down out of Algoma, so he's into the steelhead and the trout and stuff like that. So we're kind of changed it up a bit. We're not uh, downrigging for no, trout here today. No, no downriggers. It's basically straight up and down. So, so we're going to see what we can get into here. Got the electronics. We've got our otter hub up. I mean, it's, yep. we're still hovering around 30 degrees, but uh, as you can see, pretty nice in here. Pretty warm. Transducer. Is that for the old car? He's just a little fellow, but that's how fast it happens, though. All of a sudden, you got a fish. Like, look at this little guy. You know, we've yep. got a really good little lake trout here. Yep. You can see we've got a good hatchery coming along. So uh, we're going to let this little fella go, and we're going to go after his mama. Yep. Like, that's a tiny one, but oh. we want to add about 18 pounds to this yeah, one. Yeah, that one's right? only a couple years old. <laughs> All right, we'll let him go. And there he goes. Nice, and there he goes. Right on, on the board. Excellent. Good job. Not much on the board, but... On the board. 
you can follow your jig or your yep. cast master whatever you've got going down there what I like to do is get it uh, within 10 to 15 feet from the bottom yep. and then we'll just work it let it do its thing you'll mark fish they may be above you they may be below you you know you'll want to reel up and see if you can get them to go yep. a lot of times what they'll do is they'll they'll chase you they'll come they'll just come roaring in you know a lot of times I'll just reel up reel up reel up and then let it back down okay a lot of times you'll be amazed they'll come up and nail that thing on the way down they'll think it's trying to get away from them or whatever you know I see you're fishing like that which is great but what's gonna happen when these things hit you yep. they pound you so you're gonna want to have a hold of that rod I like holding on to it like this just so you got you know they'll sneak up on you sometimes they'll just right. ambush you and nail you and when they hit it's it's like a freight train they've got a fairly hard mouth so you're gonna want to hit them pretty hard. hard yep so I just found you know if you're jigging like this a lot of times you know you, you right. set the hook on a 15 20 pound lake trout you're not gonna have enough leverage to really hit them hard so and then just let them do what gotcha. they do but we've been at it for what half an hour yeah, minutes. maybe a half hour it's been pretty good lately so hopefully we can uh, get one for the barbecue yeah perfect looking forward to that we just switched spots and literally plowed the spot off for the otter yep otter set up holes drilled holes cleaned um, Everything ready to go in under 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Five minutes later, fish at, on. At the most. At yep. the most, five minutes. And uh, that's all it takes. Got, got can't be Yeah, we were move. still adjusting stuff and. <laughs> Getting situated 10 feet shallower. They might be a little more aggressive here because that, they just, that came, must have came roaring in. We didn't even mark it on the no. electronics at all. Didn't even show up, just nailed it. So there's one. Ooh, ooh, there yep. So fast it happens, boys and girls. Rip and wrap. A rip and wrap. A typical lake chart that's head shakes. See that tip of that rod? Yeah. Oh, just there he is. Yep. Oh, nice one. Just like just like on the lake. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> nice. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> awesome. Alright. It's probably a little more typical average size. Yeah. They're gonna get real big, but Oh, absolutely. You know, you think about, you know, you think about this lake trout is probably eight, nine years old. Well, you, at least, yeah. But I mean, like I say, that's that's a good one for the barbecue. They will get yep. bigger and chunkier. Oh, and I tell you, that's uh, that's the way to do her. You know, this is our second bite in ten minutes. Ten minutes. Nice, 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 nice. Got a chance to breathe a little bit, and they'll let us know when they want to go. Right there. <laughs> nice little tail shake and gone. Awesome. Excellent. That's the way to start Excellent. it. Found a good spot here, Mike. <laughs> awesome. And to kind of show the versatility of those lures, that exact same lure, that exact same color, mm -hmm. 500 miles away back home, yeah. I would be using that same thing jigging yeah. for walleye in the Bay Green Bay. Exactly. That's crazy. Uh, we've seen a couple, we've marked some on here, yeah. some right down near bottom, a couple passing through. So I think they're probably just moving around the area mm -hmm. and I think if they're deciding it from you know five six seven feet away outside our cone they're when they come it, they're yeah. coming because he came hard yeah yeah Ooh, here we go well, fish on. He just kind of came in and came in and nailed you yeah came in underneath me a little bit and then he just went and smacked there right. oh. oh nice <laughs> nice nice fish wicked nice fish here we go Boy, these lake trout here, they're nice and lean. Good and healthy. Good, nice, healthy looking fish. Yeah, yeah. Nice coloration to them. Mm -hmm. So how far nice off bottom bait. were you there, Lee? I was, I, I dropped it down, uh, was about two feet off the bottom. Oh, and nice. then all of a sudden it came, I raised it up to maybe uh, four feet, maybe five, you know, and, and uh, he kind of came right up and smacked it right away. Just getting that rip and rep to do that, that, that kind of drop fall with the with sure. the nose. Yeah. Just enough to get the rattles moving. Huh? Just get the rattles moving. Good. You know, we're trying to bring them in here and it's a nice fish. We're gonna let this one uh, go back and uh, grow up so somebody can catch them again. Beautiful, beautiful uh, Ontario Lake Trout. Come on up. There he goes. Down he goes.
We left that last spot and came here for try one more spot off the point of this island. Um, water drops off pretty quickly. You can see we're only about, I don't know, 50 yards at the most from the island and we're in 50 feet of water already. There's some nice trout in here. Mike's pretty confident that. Um, we were marking some at the other spot. Uh, iced a nice little medium uh, lake trout. So we're seeing if we can't uh, get a jumbo here before the afternoon's over with. Seems like a pretty good spot. Give her a shot and see what happens. Here we go. Got him. Oh. Nice one, Mike. It's not bad. Nice fish. You wait all day and you see some action coming and you don't know if it's going to chase you or if it's going to keep on going. But uh, <laughs> it, that's, how fa dandy one. that's how fast it happens. It's yep. just like, you know, you don't know what's taking place. Well, we've had them. We'll, we'll see them every now and then. Yeah. <laughs> but a majority of them, excuse me, a majority of them aren't chasing it. At all. No. So they'll they'll just sit right underneath where we're jigging, and you can't get them to come up. But, but maybe but a foot. But you can almost tell when you start moving. All they start of a chasing, sudden, you're probably going to catch yep. it. So um, probably going to let this guy go. Um, yep. And we'll keep on keeping on. Go oh, from let's there. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Exactly. Perfect. We'll get back in and make some babies next year. Get some new ones. Awesome. Hey, great fish guys. Now don't go away because right after the break, we're gonna take you to probably one of the most inconspicuous locations to catch trout through the ice that you've probably ever seen. Come on along as we're gonna fish for brown trout and steelhead in the shadows of skyscrapers in downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Otter and Beaver Dam Ice Fishing. Otter, the leader in quality and innovation, is opening doors with the release of the all-new Crossover Series Ice Shelters. All Crossover Shelters convert from traditional front door entry to convenient side door entry and back again in seconds. Otter, the toughest, strongest, smartest, and now most versatile shelter on ice. No matter what you're chasing on the ice this winter, Acme Tackle has you covered. From the innovative Hyperglide and Hyper Rattle series, to legendary Castmaster, Rattle Master, and Sidewinder Spoons, or the all-new professional gray tungsten series, Acme Tackle has what you need. Visit acmetackle.com to check out our full product assortment. Acme Tackle. Rattles louder, glides further, and glows brighter. Get hooked up with Acme Tackle. Shuttle only from Markham Technologies.
All right, we're down here in the Milwaukee Harbor fishing for brown trout and steelhead, and uh, we're just gonna run through the setup that we're using. We like to use a preloaded rod. So these rods are gonna sit here in the hole. I'll just kind of set it up here. So they're gonna sit here in the hole just like that. Now, the reason why we do that is these fish bite really extremely, extremely light. So they come up, they grab that bait, and sometimes they'll spit it out right away. When they grab that bait, we want them to get hit with a hook set. So that fish is gonna grab it, and bam, that fish is gonna get hooked, and you're fighting a fish on a rod and reel versus a tip up where you have to hand line those fish in. Now, we're fishing six pound monofilament to a number 14 gold treble hook. This one here is particularly tipped with shrimp. We like to use cooked shrimp, and you make it into a small ball about the size of a marble. Naturally, they're from salt water, so these fish were planted in Lake Michigan to take care of our bay fish population, so they still eat shrimp. We use shrimp and spawn. Now I got three small split shots here, spread out real far so that shrimp can wave in the current. Lots of current in these marinas and these uh, rivers and tributaries to Lake Michigan. We run these types of bobbers, these are called the no freeze bobber. Inside that bobber we got a fluid that allows that line to slide freely in the hole when it's really cold that'll all freeze up and that allows that the hole to freeze around that bobber and the line to still flow through. And like I said, they're really light, really touchy trigger mechanisms. Get set in here like that. We set that bait about two to three feet off bottom, sometimes halfway up the water column. We vary all of our rods so we know where those fish are riding in the currents and where they're riding in the marinas so that we have our maximum chance of catching a fish. And you can catch a fish from four all the way up to 15 plus pounds here in the Milwaukee marinas and tributaries to Lake Michigan. All right, we're gonna get the rest of our rods set up here and then we're hopefully gonna catch one here soon. Fish on! All right, grab him behind the, the fins there. There you go, nice. nice. There we go. Whoa, we're a fish. Trout. Dirty fish, man. You know, guys haven't experienced harbor fish and they need to check this out. So uh, this is a male brown trout. Um, it's got the nice big hook jaw on the front there. It's actually called a kite, but uh, we just refer them to it as a hook jaw. And this is probably the number one prized trout here in uh, Lake Michigan and through the ice now. Just because of their beautiful colors, they're coming fresh out of the river now and their big hook jaws. And that fish, you know, that fish is between three and five years old and will live to be 15 plus years old, and that fish can reach upwards of 20 plus pounds. Really? Mm-hmm. There you go. Just we'll let it go back and live another day. There she goes. goes. Nice right. job. Good job. Hold, let me get oh. that hook out of my finger. <laughs> nice Good job, job Tyler. Tyler. Nice job. Thank you, guys. Ooh. No problem. Down here in southeastern Wisconsin, we see two different uh, species of fish. We catch steelhead, which is a rainbow trout and a brown trout. So we got multiple different strains, different looking fish to catch as far as rainbow trout through the ice here in the Milwaukee Marina and all the way up to Sheboygan, Kenosha, um, and Kiwani, Algoma, we catch fish too. So there's German brown trout and seaforellans. Seaforellans are the larger strain of brown trout that grow upwards of 30 plus pounds. And you can catch those through the ice. They, they tend to spawn underneath the ice versus a German brown trout spawns in the fall. German browns are real colorful and they got a hook jaw and the seaforellans are more of a chrome with, uh, without a hook jaw. Nice fish. That is. Beautiful, all chrome. Yep. Straight from the lake. Whoa! <laughs> Doesn't want to the other way. There, there he goes. goes. Oh, that's a good How's one. Going, Terry? It's a good one. It's a good one? Alright, check that drake. Quick. A little bit. 
Well, I'll tell you right now, I'm not gaining much line on him. I, I want to be careful so we don't cut the line on the edge of that. What is this, like six pound test, Tyler? Yep, four six pound so test. I'm going to go a little please. easy with them. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. I'm getting my money's worth on this one. <laughs> there she goes. Oh, man. I'm telling you, folks, you got to come and do this. Wow, she's really peeling line now. There, now she's coming back. And some back. All right, here we go, Tyler. All right, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, honey. We got her. We got her. Hey! Hey! Nice yeah! Come on, let's nice hold her up there. here. I'll take that. Nice job. Up. Nice fish, Terry. Wow. There you go. That's a, a hen, uh, hen brown trout, and she's already got. Oh, Look she's got eggs, eggs coming out. Look at that. So, Jordan, you want to go grab a bag? What a fish, Terry. Nice well, job. Well, I'll tell you what, there is uh, nothing like that. We are, as I said before, we're in the harbors down here in Milwaukee, and uh, you guys got to hook up with Wolfpack. Uh, they, got a, they got a great system going on. And you know, to, to have this kind of fishery this close to home, and a lot of people don't get to experience it, um, you know, we all go fishing fresh water and stuff, but to catch, catch trout like this here, it's, it's a pretty cool deal in the state of Wisconsin. All right. So this fish has got some eggs in her, and we use these eggs for bait. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do what we call milking. So we're just going to push these eggs out. Nice and gentle. Just get enough so that we have for bait. We don't want to take all of them. That should be good. Then we're going to let Terry hold this fish up for a picture. They're pretty slippery. Yep. <laughs> So you can tell this is a female not only because she's uh, dropping eggs here, but because she's got a real rounded nose, no hook jaw on her. Wow, that is really something. Wow. Congrats, buddy. There's nothing like that. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> well, this is my first trip down to the uh, harbors of Lake Michigan been invited several times and I thought uh, you know we got some 40 degree temps coming in today and uh, the bite's been good they've been getting some steelhead and some browns and uh, you know uh, I've heard good things they call this a world-class fishery down here and if you're coming down to fish these harbors there's moving water in them you, you definitely need to fish with a guide down here we're fishing the harbor right now 10 11 feet of water these uh, these fish are in here and uh, basically, you know, they're running anywhere from probably eight to 12, 13 pounds. It's pretty exciting when you have a 10 pound brown trying to get it through a, through a six, uh, eight inch hole here. So, and you know, the other unique thing we were talking about this morning is just look behind me and see what's back there. And, uh, you know, we're fishing right next to a roadway and all these harbors that run up and down this lakefront, uh, basically the same thing. We're, we're just, you know, within walking distance of most of these seven, eight, ten story buildings and uh, right next to a trophy class uh, fishery. So pretty cool. Make sure you put it on your bucket list. Fucking pretty good. Yeah, it's huh? a good fish. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, he is Ooh, green. Perfect. I don't think I'd get much of a you're running. Oh, is he running? Ooh, oh, nice fish. My heart's pumping. <laughs> it's a water bump. Looks like a steelhead. <laughs> oh, big head. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Got her, got her. Yeah, there we go. What a fish! What a beautiful steelhead! Wow! wow. There we go. What a beautiful, beautiful fish! Thanks, guys. Wow! So this is awesome. I, yeah, I just, so this, this is, is so cool. This is a winter fun thing. This is my dad's first trout through the ice. Fish with your son. You yeah. don't get to do that too much. Loving it. All right, let's get this one back in the water. Put her head down, nice and slow, and let her let her start to kick in your hand, and then let her go. Well. Oh, oh she goes. no problems there. There you go. Take nice hand. job, Dad. <laughs> Good job, bud. Thank you, guys. Congrats. What a hoot. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by PK Lures and Markham Technologies.
Let PK Lures get you geared up this ice fishing season with the legendary PK Flutterfish. Uniquely designed for the ultimate vibration, this jigging spoon accurately mimics a distressed bait fish. And with the glowing eyes and wide variety of colors, the Flutterfish is a must-have for your tackle box. The PK Predator is a pan fish killer. The patented blade design creates a flash that triggers massive reaction bites from huge perch and crappie. Check out the full line of PK Lures at PKLure.com or at a retailer near you. Hi, I'm Matt, the pizza guy for Pizza Corner Pizza. It's no secret, in North Dakota, we take our frozen pizza very seriously. Loaded with toppings, tangy tomato sauce on an Italian style bakery crust, Pizza Corner Pizzas are the pride of North Dakota. Kurt Walbeck here, host of Outdoor Bound TV on ABC. We're excited to partner with Pizza Corner Pizza to give you a chance to win a great ice fishing trip on historic Devil's Lake. Fresh new look, same great taste. That's Pizza Corner Pizza. Fish on, Kurt! Treat yourself to Ontario's best kept secret, Nestor Falls Fly-In Outposts. Take off to your own private Northern Ontario outpost. Featuring all the amenities of home, new boats, top-notch equipment, and world-class fishing. Nestor Falls Fly-In Outposts is your premier outpost destination. Just a short drive north of International Falls, then we'll fly you north 200 miles. Escape to the wilderness. Contact Nestor Falls Fly-In Outpost today. Offering features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Yeti by Northland. Now that's pretty incredible, fishing in downtown Milwaukee, Wisconsin for some of those big brown trout and steelhead. Thanks to the guys at Wolfpack Adventures and if you're interested in fishing with them, all of their information is right here on the screen. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Show me how it's done. <laughs> hey, this is Terry and Tyler, Terry from Ultimate Outdoors Radio for Outdoor Bound uh, TV. Nah, outdoor. <laughs> Whack one here. <laughs> That's too much Ultimate and Outdoor. <laughs> Watch this. It's the biggest one they make. For Outdoor Bound TV, we'll be right back. That's what you want, right? Ready? Yeah. Let me watch. It's gonna get her.